Hello everyone and welcome to my fitness pal explain tutorial one setting your goals in this next video we're going to learn how to go into your settings in order to create goals more specific to your needs let's get started welcome to your my fitness pal dashboard this is the landing page when you open up the app you'll notice on this landing page it shows your calorie goal how many calories you have remaining, how many calories you've consumed, as well as your exercise minutes. You'll also notice down on the bottom toolbar, you see dashboard, diary, newsfeed, plans, and more. You also see that you can search for a food or even use the barcode scanner to add to your diary. Before you start adding to your diary, I recommend setting your own calorie goal. My fitness pal will typically just set a generic calorie goal when you log into the app because they simply don't know anything about you. In order to set your personalized calorie goal, you would need to click on more and then goals. There you can adjust your starting weight you can change how many pounds you weigh currently or when you started your journey, as well as setting a date for that starting point. Make sure you also log your current weight and a goal weight you wish to obtain. Next, you're going to set your weekly goal. For this, I recommend discussing with a nutrition coach as they can guide you in the right direction for your specific goals. I'm going to go ahead and set this at 0.5 pounds per week. Your activity level plays a big role in how your calories will be set. So make sure you're honest in this answer, thinking about your daily activity levels. Next, you can go ahead to nutrition goals. Your new goals will be set based on the information you just put in. My calories are set at 1840. I'm going to go ahead and make a few adjustments to set my protein at 30% and carbs at 40%. Again, if you're not sure what to set yours at, I suggest talking to a nutrition coach. You can also set additional micronutrient goals, for example, if your doctor recommends that you eat at a certain cholesterol level, you can adjust that as well as any other micronutrients that may be specific to your body. Also, you can set a goal for your workouts for the week and how many minutes you aim to work out per week. Setting your calorie and macro targets are the first steps to get you started on reaching your goals. But if you're a little bit unsure about it, make sure to talk to a professional. Next, we're going to go over logging your food. 